Hi canners, welcome back to Stacy Can Can. Today we are canning tuna. Got 140 pounds of tuna from our local fish market, which fortunately we're sharing with uh, some, some friends who also helped pack all of the tuna. So things that you're gonna need for, for this project is, is obviously tuna. So you're gonna need anywhere from a pound to two pounds of tuna depending on, uh, for each jar, depending on the size of the jar. So we are using pints and half pints. You cannot can above a pint uh, at home for home canning, keep that in mind. So you'll definitely need, um, depending on how much you can, but you're gonna need your pints and half pint jars. You will need um, some salt, that's optional, but if you want to add salt to yours, which I do, I put in, uh, you need a, a full teaspoon for your pints and a half a teaspoon for half pints, which is kind of easy to do there. You're gonna need some gloves, it's great. You don't need them, but it, they're nice to have some gloves to stuff because you're, you can get, um, all that raw tuna and juice in your fingernails and cuticles and it's just your hands smell fishy and it's just kind of gross but it's up to you on that it's not necessarily necessary you also need some uh knives and cutting boards um you're gonna need a clean surface or a surface a prep area that uh you don't mind getting too fishy and goopy i have this nice vinyl tablecloth that i use um that's real easy to clean up uh, afterwards um, and then you're gonna need some vinegar. You'll need some vinegar for inside the canner as well as I like to use vinegar and water and bowls to clean the rims because as you stuff in the jars, it gets real sticky and real goopy and gross on top of the, uh, on top of the rims. So they, you really have to, you really have to scrape it off actually. So it's nice to have some, some warm water or some water with vinegar mixed in to um, work on cleaning those jars. So make sure you, you have, you have yourself a lot of time for this. This is a time consuming project, so keep that in mind. Um, as the most important part of, of canning is, is making sure the jars seal, so you need to make sure that the rims are very clean. So that is what, uh, that's what we're doing today, and um, so enjoy. Okay, so there is a piece, did I find a piece? Nope, I did not. I thought I felt a piece of something. I did not. Okay, so we're just stuffing jars. That's how you do it. You go to an inch headspace. Oops. And I'm feeling around for bones. I found one bone. And that is how you stuff fish. Okay, we're adding salt. We do a full teaspoon for our pints and a half a teaspoon for our half pints. Clean the rims very well. Add your lids and your ring. A gentle hand tighten. Add four to five inches of water to the canner. Add four tablespoons of vinegar. So one thing that happens when you are canning 140 pounds of tuna is you get a little tired and you forget to record a few things. And that's what happens. So um, after you're done putting your tuna in the jars and you have them lidded and ringed, you go ahead and just put them in the canner like so. Um, and then you put your, uh, you might have to stagger them a little bit inside um, uh, and, and just kind of, just kind of gently place them. I always put the, um, I put the pints on the bottom and then if I, uh, if I have half pints, I'll put those on top. Uh, this is a tall enough canner where I can stack, uh, 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 I can stack pints in this, in this canner. So that's, uh, that's sort of handy to do because then you can, you can get through a lot more jars at a, at a quicker time frame. With that many jars of, of tuna, I ended up using the canners um, uh, five times, but I have two pressure canners, so I had two of them going at the same time, so killing two birds with one stone, hopefully. Uh, so remember, you put your jars in your canner, you go ahead and gently you know, put your lid on, you, you get it all sealed up, and then you turn the heat on to high, and uh, to start building, um, uh, to start heating everything up inside so you get a steady uh, stream of steam coming out of your vent. We got a steady 
stream of steam and I've set the timer for 10 minutes. Timer's gone off and we're adding the vent cover. After the timer has gone off with the steady steam of stream that you have going on there and you put your, and you put your weight on top of it, um, you'll start to watch the canner, the dial gauge, go up. And once it hits 11 pounds of pressure in a dial gauge or 10 pounds of pressure in a weighted gauge, then you set the timer for tuna for 100 minutes. And that is active watching. So make sure you are watching the whole time you are, you know, you're, the whole time you, you can do some dishes, you can go to the bathroom, whatever, but you just really do need to be minding the pressure canners for that whole 100 minutes or uh, an hour and 40 minutes in the canner. When the timer has gone off after 100 minutes or an hour and 40 minutes in the canner, you want to turn, cut the heat, cut the heat completely, and then you got to let this cool off all on its own until it's completely down to zero on the dial gauge. Um, and, and once it's down to zero, then you can remove the lid. Okay, but you gotta wait till it completely cools before you do that. And then you can take your weight off of your vent and gently open your canner. Now, when you open the canner, you gotta be very careful. Make sure to um, open it away from your face because that is, it's a lot of steam that comes out and it's very, very hot. And then you just gently remove your jars with your jar lifter. Now, when you pull them out of the canner, they are gonna be kind of, they're still gonna be boiling. They're gonna, and they're gonna be boiled. They're gonna be oozing, dripping, the whole nine yards underneath the, underneath the ring and, and everything. That's totally normal, absolutely normal. So just keep that in mind. Um, then you wanna wait a good, oh, until the next day. You wanna give them a good 12 hours or so um, before you check the, and check to make sure that they're sealed. After they are sealed, um, you want to take the rings off and after they've cooled completely for at least 12 to 24 hours, I would be pushing 24 with tuna just because it's, it's so hot. Um, and then you go ahead and you take the ring off and then you want to gently wash your jars, um, with some soap and water and make sure to gently get around the edges of the lid. You don't want to, you know, wash it too hard to where you compromise the, compromise the seal of the lid, but you just want to get it nice and clean so it's, so you don't get debris, because these get really drippy in the canner with all the oils and such from the fish that, that come out um, from under the lid prior to sealing. It just gets really, uh, there's a tackiness to it. It gets kind of, sort of gummy and goopy feeling, which is relatively fine on the jar. I don't worry too much on the jar for storage purposes, but I do want to try to make sure that it's as clean as possible without compromising the lid. I mean, you don't have to do that with it, but I do take a wet washcloth and I just wash, um, wash with um, warm soapy water around here and then rinse it off. So that way, in case you have, if you have some food stuffs cut, um, still kind of attached to the rim around here and if it, in storage, if it starts to rot, it can mold and then creep up underneath the seal and compromise the seal and then you have uh, spoiled tuna. So just keep that in mind as you are uh, for storage purposes. So that, my friends, is how we can tuna. So if you have any questions, comments, um, suggestions, any feedback, please, by all means, reach out to me. The recipe is, uh, is down below in uh, the uh, notes section here. And also please like and subscribe my page. But if you have any questions, by all means, reach out on, um, on, that, on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. Uh, my website is www.stacycancan.com and my email is info at stacycancan.com. So uh, it's been fun canning tuna and very tiring for me. So it was, but it was a fun and accomplished day and yeah. um, I look forward to hearing more about your canning adventures and until then, happy canning.